Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another RuneScape 3 video. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can level up your guy or your lady character very quickly. How you can make very fast progress by using one simple little trick that I've been doing since I started playing this game. I've been playing this game about four months. I think I think I started playing back in March or April or something and if you look at my stats here over on the left my stats are pretty well balanced and I didn't plan it out that way per se but it just happened like that and I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to show you how all this happened and how you can uh, le level up train your guy very quickly now the way I'm going to explain it is I'm going to show you one of my goals right here. Now one of my goals is to complete this quest right here. It's called the Plagues In, Qu Plagues In Quest. And the reason why this is my main goal is because if we look at the rewards, down here, second from the bottom, you see access to Prifindus. Now Prifindus is a nice little city that I don't have access to at the moment because I gotta complete this quest and if we look on the map it's all the way over here on the far west and the rest of the map I've got access to everything else okay and I really want to get access to this city because in this city I am very well aware that you can kill frost dragons and they drop bones that are worth 20,000 gold I believe and also they give good prayer points, prayer experience, and I have a gilded altar in my player own house. And so I'm going to get four times the experience of that. So I really, really want to go to Prifindus. But in order for me to do that, I have to complete this quest. Plague's End. Now, in order to complete this quest, you can see under the requirements, there's quite a bunch of few requirements, including these three quests. And all of these skills have to be level 75. And you can see I got a little bit of a ways to go. I got to get level 75 crafting, level 75 herb lore, 75 mining, prayer, and level 75 summoning. Okay. And this requirement here within the light, I literally just completed it a couple days ago, like two days ago. Okay. And let me go to this quest right here and we can take a look at these requirements. These are the requirements for this particular quest within the light, which is a requirement for the Plague's Inc. quest, okay? And the requirements are the Morning's in Part 2 quest, and then these skills, uh, the range has to be 75, woodcutting 75, fletching level 70, and level 69 agility. And I had everything done except for these two requirements right here. I was level 74 woodcutting. And my fletching was sitting at about level 68. Okay, So I had to get those two requirements done before I could complete this within the light. Which I literally just did two days ago. Now, the way I did it. Now, the fastest way to train woodcutting at after you hit level 70 is to chop ivy. Okay, And the ivy over here, I'll, I'll just show you where it is real quick. It's over here by Falador. And so I'm going to go ahead and teleport over to the Falador. And then we're going to walk over by the, the castle there. And it's not very far away. If we let me, let me rearrange my camera a little bit. And so I'm going to walk over here a little bit to the left. Okay, and that's the lodestone right there. So I'm going to walk to the left. You look at my mini map. And my mini map's a little green arrow. Right past that green arrow is this little bit of ivy here. Okay, and so once you hit like level 70 or, or may, I think maybe even level 68 or 69, you can start chopping this ivy. And it's very fast experience to chop this ivy. And you see, I just got 332 experience points for chopping that. You can't get anything like that nowhere near chopping the trees or, or, or chopping other things. So I could, if I want, I didn't do this, and I'll explain why in a second, okay? But if I wanted to, I could have sat here, and I could have chopped this, this ivy, and I could have very quickly got my wood cutting up to level 75. But I didn't do that. And the reason why I didn't do that is because if we go back to this quest... This uh, within the light, 
and we go back to the requirements, I also needed to get level 70 fletching. So my wood cutting was at 74 and my fletching was at level 68. Now when you're at level 68 fletching, then the fastest way to train up to your fletching is by fletching you uh, uh, boats. The uh, uh, where, where is it at? Let me let me just show you in the skills here. So if we look under the fletching right here, and then we go here, I'll just show you under 65 U short bows, okay? So the fastest way, and I was low 68, so I knew ahead of time that I needed to get lots of U longs, right? And if I wanted to, I got the money. If you look in the lower right corner here I got the money I got 21 mil in gold so if I wanted to I could have very easily just gone to the grand exchange and bought a bunch of U logs and very easily trained up my fletching level 70 right but I didn't do that and I didn't chop the ivy so what I instead decided to do is I decided to chop U trees okay now the U trees the best place to go for the yew trees is I have this Cape of Legends and so I can teleport right click the Cape of Legends and teleport right over to the Legends Guild and we rearrange and right here is a yew tree so I that's what I did I did not chop the ivy I chopped these yew trees and by doing that it gave me the logs and simultaneously trained up my wood cutting to level 75 and by doing that I saved both time and money Okay, I saved money by very simply I didn't have to buy the U logs, and I saved myself time because let's say I would have did it the other way, I would have bought these U logs from the Grand Exchange, then I maybe I don't know if I would have spent all my money, but I might have spent a lot of my money. Then I would have, sooner or later have to go out and do something to make some money. Use one of the money making methods that I'm aware of. You know, I could have, and I would have had to. I don't know what some good way. Tanning leather is a good way to make money. Uh, I think you can make three to four mil an hour tanning leather. Or I could have did some combating. I could have done some mining. The runite ore. Uh, I know you can, there's a place over, uh, let, me, let me bring up my lodestone, there's a place way out here by Tiruan where you can pick white berries and you can make a million and a half gold per hour just picking a white berry. It's pretty amazing the ways that you can make money uh, in this game, That just the, the silly little ways you can make money. You, uh, If I wanted to, I could uh, teleport over here to Sears Village and I could I could collect honeycombs and I could make about 800,000 per hour. But why do that when I could do this? I could chop down these yew trees, collect yew trees by saving myself money. Number one, I don't have to buy the yew logs. Saving myself time, I don't have to go out and do something unrelated to my goals of getting a Prifendus and getting that Plague's Inquest. So that's what I did. And by doing that, I was able to train up my wood cutting. And then once I had all the logs, then I teleported over here to the Lumbridge Lodestone. And then up to the north of the lodestone, uh, let me try that again. Okay, so I'm going to teleport to the Lumbridge lodestone, and then up to the north of the lodestone is the Combat Academy. Okay, and then at the Combat Academy, uh, if you don't know about this, then you're going to be very happy you're watching this video if you don't know about this. Okay, so I'm at the lodestone, and then right up here to the north is a big hangout. It's like a big powwow of people. And here's a little secret, okay? it's This is world number 84 that I'm on. So if I click hop the worlds, okay? Notice I'm on world 84, okay? The reason is, is because it is a portable skilling world, okay? So if you go to this world, and then you go to this combat academy, you see all these people here. And then right here, there is Portable Crafter, Portable Fletcher. So that's what I did. I clicked on the Portable Fletcher, and then I was able to fletch all of these these uh, shield bowls, or, or the short bowls right here, okay? And the short bowls gave me 67 experience. I can do shield bowls because now my, my fletching is level 70, but at the time I wasn't level 70, and so I just clicked on the fletch like that, and then I just... I was able to train up my fletching like that, and I got all these 
these short molds like that. And so by doing it this way, and by using the slower method of chopping the yew trees and not going to Falador, not chopping the ivy, then I was able to train up both my fletching and my wood cutting, and I was able to very quickly and easily accomplish my goal. So let me go back to Taverly here and get out of this nonsense. It's making all these noise and it's messing up my video too. I probably should have muted all of this, but uh, we're going to press on with this video. Let me get out of here and get back to Taverly. Okay, so that was the way that I killed two birds with one stone by getting that up. Okay, now I'm out of there. Now it's nice and peaceful. Now all we can hear is birds, right? No more of, of all that craziness. Okay, so let me go back to the Taverly Bank. Okay, and let me pull up my Plague's Ends quest. Okay, so I got that done, and then I completed the Within the Light quest. Okay, quest complete. I did it two days ago. Now that's knocked out of the way, and so that's one step closer to my ultimate goal of getting Prefendus. Okay, so the, that's now crossed out, and now I still got to do this quest, and I got to get all of these up to level 75. And so I decided to pick crafting, okay, for level 75. And right now, if we look at my stats here, my crafting is sitting at level 70. It's showing 75 because I got a boost hanging out at the level 84 combat academy, but my goal, my crafting is level 70. I want to get level 75. So... Again, I could very easily go to the Grand Exchange, buy a bunch of leather, and craft it, okay? And uh, at level 70, you want to craft green shields, the green dragon shields. And then when you hit level 71, you can do the blue dragon bodies. And level 72 is the best of all. You can do the uh, blue dragon shields, okay? And those, I believe, give you like 280 experience a pop, okay? And right now I'm level 70, so I would do green dragon shields. And I could very easily go to the bank and buy all the green leather, and I could craft the green dragon shields. But I'm not going to do that, right? Because I know that I am going to be training my crafting, and I need the blue dragon leather. So, of course, I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is instead of buying all the leather, I am going to kill... The blue dragons and that's why i'm sitting here at tather at taverly bank because the blue dragons are very close to where i'm at so to kill the blue dragons then i need to go to the taverly dungeons and i'm going to hop skip and jump over this little agility shortcut i don't remember what the what the requirement is and now bamo kazamo i'm at the taverly dungeon and so i'm going to climb down the steps and i'm going to go into the dungeon and now to get to the blue dragons are right over here just to the right and uh, I would s highly suggest that you get your agility up to level 70 because if I didn't have level 70 agility then I would have to go all the way around if we click on the map here I would have to go and follow my mouse arrow I would have to go all the way around like this and then I'd have to go all the way down like this all the way over like this and all the way around like this cross this little bridge go all the way up like this up this little bridge and then go in here and use a dusty key open there that's a long ways it would take a few minutes for me to make that long trek but I don't have to do that because I have level 70 agility if I pull up my my skills right there you can see right there I actually have level 75 agility but I have level 70 agility and so now instead of going all that way I can just click here squeeze through obstacle price and boom -o, I am right here at the blue dragons just like that okay and then, uh, oh, well, look at this. I forgot my rune. So uh, I am actually going to cut and edit this part out to try to shorten this video a little bit. But I'm going to go back and get my runes real quick so that I can show you what I'm going to do here. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. I am back and I got all the stuff I need. I got my runes and I also brought a war tortoise pouch so I could carry extra so I could carry extra inventory. Uh, my beast of burden that can carry 18 things. Okay. So now I'm going to continue explaining what I was going to explain. And I'm here in the lair of the blue dragons, getting ready to kill these 
blue dragons and get myself some blue dragon hides and then I'm going to go back to that combat academy I'm going to tan the leather and then I'm going to craft the leather into the blue dragon shields or whatever I can get it into okay now if you've ever killed blue dragons before then you know that their weakness is ranged weapons right so what am I what on earth am I doing using magic gear to kill uh, dragons with a weakness of range and again this is me killing two birds with one stone okay now if I wanted to I could go get my ranged weaponry I have level 75 weaponry I have the armadillo crossbow I got the dragon bolts the enchanted ones and that would be the easiest way uh, to do that is to get my range weaponry and I could smoke these these dragons I could uh, these dragons won't, won't last 10 seconds if I get all that weaponry but I'm not going to do that instead I'm going to use my magic and the reason is is because I have another goal that I've been working on and the other goal that I have is I want to get up to level 81 magic and the reason is is because if I get to level 81 then I can cast the spell you can see right there on the right of my screen the air surge spell and uh, right now my magic is sitting at level 78 so I, I got three levels to go right so by using my magic gear my magic weapon uh, and my staff then not only am I going to get the blue dragon hides, but I'm going to simultaneously level up my magic, my magic uh, skill and experience. And I'm going to simultaneously get the level 81 magic and get all the blue dragon hides so that I can craft those blue dragon hides into the leather and or into or I'm sorry. Tan the, the tanning. I can tan the blue dragon hides into leather and then craft the leather into the shields and the and the body armor and so forth, right? And so that's another way that I am trying to kill two birds with one stone instead of going to the Grand Exchange, buying all the leather, and then just crafting the leather. Instead, I'm killing the blue dragon. So really it's like killing three birds with one with one stone. I'm I'm killing the blue dragons getting the blue dragon hides which I could very easily buy but not only that I'm killing the blue dragons with a magic staff okay the best way to kill the dragons is with the was is with the the bolts right and so the best thing for me to do would be get the crossbow but nope I'm not doing that I am going to use my magic uh, weaponry and so forth so uh, yeah and so that that's pretty much it and Again, by doing this, this has been my methodology throughout since I started playing this game, and most of my stats are pretty evenly, are pretty close together. You know, most of them are in the 70s and the 60s. A couple of them are higher up because I did a lot of combating and Slayer. My defense is pretty high. My my constitution is pretty high. I have not been working on divination that much. I haven't had the need, but that's coming quick. And when I get ready to do that, then. Uh, I'll probably just use some treasure hunter keys and get that up real quick. Uh, but anyways, that's that's my plan right now is to get to Prifendis. And the way I, to, for me to get to Prifendis is to try to get two or three things done at the same time simultaneously. So that's pretty much it for this video. So... Uh, uh, I just, I'll just tell you that when you, when you have something you want to do in this game, you know... Uh, you're trying to get a quest done and you need some items or whatever, you know, chop some wood. Or, and, and here's another one, like when I get ready to do some cooking, I'm not going to just buy the fish or buy food. I'm going to do some fishing and then I'm going to use the fish to train to cooking, right? So just killing the birds with one stone saves times. It, it saves time, it saves money, and it's a good way to play this game. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, and that would be great. And uh, that's it. Have a good day. Happy runescaping, and ciao.